Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So it's been a while since I did a tumbler, so that's what we're gonna do. This is a wine glass tumbler. It is stainless steel, and then I spray painted it with a flat white paint and primer. This one was Valspar. If you see wet spots here, it's just because I already had some wet epoxy on my hand. I do have it on a cup turner, and um, basically I was inspired to do a black and white one. Don't ask me why necessarily, maybe it's, I don't know. So um, that's why I spray painted the cup white. It was stainless steel, so just, um, you know, the silver. I lightly sanded it, cleaned it, and spray painted it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just cover it entirely with a coat of the just clear epoxy, no, no colors added. And if you wanted just a white cup, you could of course leave it at this. <laughs> but I want sort of black stripes. I'm not going for exact black stripes. If you wanted exact black stripes, you would need to use some tape so you can actually get stripes. And why I'm doing it this way, instead of adding white dye to my epoxy, is because white and black mixed together make gray. So this way with the white background, I don't have to worry about it mixing with that black to make gray. I will get a solid white and a solid black. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more clear and then we're gonna go in here with our black. And I'm using the Alumalite black dye and then also Stone Coat Countertops black metallic mica powder. So that's gonna come out as a dark gray. That's this one. And then the black dye is very black. <laughs> And I don't remember if I said it already, but I'm using the Stone Coat Countertops Countertop Epoxy. And you could also use the Art Coat. I just am out of the Art Coat for the moment. So before I get in here with my color, I am gonna just quickly torch this, get rid of any air bubbles, and just double check full coverage, especially around the edge and the bottom. I've noticed that those are the spots that's kind of hard to cover sometimes. Okay, good. Now we're gonna just go ahead and start dripping. Um, very simple. I'm just gonna be doing that. And as it goes around, it will move and blend a little bit. Now there's no other color here to blend with but it'll blend with just the clear epoxy and kind of move around. I'm so excited about this. So that's the black and then let me just show you, this is the metallic black, which is like that dark gray. I'm gonna use that more sparingly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just speed this part up and take my time doing this. All right, now that was actually super simple. I think I'm done though. I don't wanna overdo it. So one more time, I'll just quickly torch. And then this is gonna just continue to move around. So um, we're gonna come back tomorrow when it is all dry and see the final product. Okay, so it's been spinning for a little while. I was a little worried about this. I was pretty sure I added too much black. So, um, mental note, a lot less black, a little goes a long way. Got a little too excited. So what I did was I actually did go ahead and mix up some of the white dye. This is the Alumalite white. And you can, of course, if you like this with all the black, leave it. Don't even worry about it. Um, I was not going for as much black on this project. So I'm just throwing back in a little bit of white, but let this be just a note for the future that a little bit goes a long way, especially with black. All right, I think that is good much more what I was going for. So let's, like I said again, let it 
keep turning. It's gonna now go ahead and turn for hours. Um, I usually leave it for at least six hours, if not 24. It's very hot in here, so this will actually be dry in just a few hours. And then we'll be back and I'll show you the final product. All right, we're back. So here's our cup completely done. This is the plastic lid that you drink out of. Um, it changed a lot as it moved, as you can see. And this was not at all what I was going for. Way too much black, but you know, lesson learned. Um, let me know if you guys would like a video on my second try on this. It could make a really cool set though. Having another one with more white and less black and it could be a cool set. I still love how this came out though. It's like a stormy, stormy um, landscape here. Like these are like trees and the stormy sky and some water down here. I think it's gorgeous. I'm in love with it. So let me know if you guys would like to see my next attempt on this with a lot less black. Definitely some more Tumblr videos coming up. And um, if you're interested in a custom Tumblr, you can always message me or just check out my Etsy store. I have some of the Tumblrs up there. And I will see you all next time.